lot of students ask me about their major and what major they should consider. And I find a lot with my, my more science-oriented students that they are very interested in things like biomedical engineering. It's so hot right now. Everybody wants to do biomedical engineering. It was interesting today here at Georgia Tech, where I'm taking a tour, my tour guide was a second year student and she came in as a biomedical engineering student. She loves the idea of working on prosthetics or, or some sort of a, 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 using technology in the medical field to help repair or advance um, healing. So I asked her, I said, well, why did you switch? Why did you switch from biomedical engineering into mechanical engineering? And she told me, she said, look, you know, I'm interested in prosthetics. But a lot of what prosthetics is, is mechanical. So I found that as I was looking at what I wanted to do, that I felt that having a strong foundation in mechanical engineering, which is really a specialty here at Georgia Tech anyway, um, that that would give me a strong foundation for no matter what it is I ended up doing. So yes, I probably would still like to work in the biomedical engineering field and a strong foundation in mechanical engineering will enable me to do that because so much of what the prosthetic um, field is doing is pretty mechanical. But um, she said if I wanted to work on cars or I wanted to work on some other thing or, or I didn't want, she said I didn't want to limit my opportunities. And by choosing a much more narrow field like biomedical engineering, absolutely it's hot, it's what there seems to be a lot of, a lot of things going on, but you you miss out on that strong foundational uh, education that can launch you into many new directions, some of which you may not have thought of, or that um, may be hotter in the future. Right now, biotech is huge. Uh, bioengineering, biomedical engineering, um, it's huge. It's really, really popular. But if you want to be employable in this next century, I think it's a really good idea to think about that, the foundation of your education as an undergraduate. If you plan to go on into graduate school um, or if you want to work in a particular field that carries you into a, a new um, professional track, absolutely, biomedical engineering could be really cool, but the question you have to ask yourself is how soon do you want to narrow yourself? At 18, do you want to make that decision or do you want to wait and do some exploration? If you want to explore and you're not absolutely sure, then a place like Georgia Tech actually could be fantastic because you don't apply to your particular major, you apply to the school as a whole, then you begin to do some of your your foundational requirements and then you can make some decisions about whether or not you want that more narrow uh, focus like biomedical engineering or whether you want to do something a little bit more general and and have a, a stronger foundation in something like mechanical engineering. So a big choice to make, but um, one that you shouldn't make lightly, especially when you're coming out of high school. I mean, how, my, how many biomedical engineering courses have you taken? Frankly, how many engineering courses have you taken? Probably very few. So think about that before you narrow your choices. How much do you want and need to explore? your academic possibilities, your professional possibilities before you choose a very narrow major. Interesting food for thought and it was really fun to ha hear somebody who had that choice to make um, rather than somebody like me to, to explain uh, this difference in trajectory.